All right, uh, doing uh, the heat produced in a combustion reaction um, is, is really pretty simple. It really is a kind of stoichiometry. Remember, stoichiometry is stoichiometry because a balanced equation is required. Um, in this case, you include the amount of heat energy produced in the equation. It becomes part of the equation. Well, let's see how that lays out here. So what I've done here is I've just written this sort of general sort of thing, x grams of chemical y. Well, if we have x grams of chemical y, that's x grams of y. Okay? Um, we've got to first convert this into moles. Well, to convert it into moles, uh, we have to have a molar mass. Well, I've given you the molar mass. Normally, you have to add the sum of all the atomic masses of all the atoms in a formula to get the molar mass. And you write that answering units of grams. You put the species symbol right after that grams, and you show that's equal to one mole of that species. Um, and that's the way that you do it in this class. Well, that means that 25 grams, and when you end up with your molar mass calculation, you always end up with a, a molar ratio or an equality statement to build a, a, a molar mass ratio. Let's say we have 25 grams of chemical Y, and that has to equal one mole of chemical Y. So now I can use this to do a little, some one conversion anyway. 25.00 grams of Y, and we put one mole of Y on the top. Well, that allows us to cancel grams and Y, okay? So now we've got our starting species into moles and we need a balanced chemical equation for a molar ratio now, okay? Well, the balanced chemical equation is we have chemical Y, and we're burning it, which means we're going to react it with oxygen in the form of a gas, and we're always going to produce, um, if, it's a, if, if Y is some uh, combust, um, hydrocarbon, then we're always going to produce CO2 and water, okay? So let's assume Y is a combustion reaction. That's all we've ever done in here. And remember, water is going to be a gas when you do it this way. And the kilojoules of energy is, can become part of the reaction. If we're giving away 100 kilojoules, okay? Now, if delta H is negative kilojoules, that's how much energy is being given away from the, the um, system. And the system includes all these chemicals. Um, and so if it's losing this amount of energy, then the energy is being transferred from that system with the chemicals to the surroundings where we are. And so in the equation, that becomes a positive number. All right. Um, so our ratio then, we always write these um, combustion reactions when we're doing this kind of thermochemical calculation so that the coefficient in front of the species of interest is a 1. Okay. Um, that's because um, the kilojoules produced will be kilojoules per mole, and we need one mole of our starting amount. So very often we'll have fractions in front of oxygen to make all that work out. It's the only time, it's the first time in this unit, or in this class, that we've ever, ever come up to uh, coefficients that have been in fractions every other time. We've always had coefficients that were whole numbers, okay? Um, but in this case, we could have some fraction. We don't know what this number is going to be. We don't, have, we don't have to balance the equation. As long as we have a 1 or an implied 1 in front of y, the rest of the as long and the equation is balanced, it really doesn't matter. Because all we're looking for is the amount of heat produced when we burn one mole of this stuff. All right. So what's going to happen is we're going to take this 100 grams, I'm sorry, 100 kilojoules, okay, of energy, and that is per one mole of this chemical species we're burning. One mole of Y. We can cancel moles of Y. Okay? And when we finish, we're going to have whatever this number would have been, multiplied by this, divided by that, and we'll have some amount of energy in kilojoules. Okay? It's really that simple. Okay? It's never going to be hard. It's not complex. It's just finding the stuff that fits together that's going to allow you to cancel the units you can cancel and the species you can cancel to give you what you're looking for. And you're always going to look for energy in a question like this anyway. 
Energy is measured in joules. Of course, kilojoules is just a thousand joules.